Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Episode 22. 22. You already know the vibe. Jay Hill, I'm in the building. Period. What's up, Bay? Here, the Bay is in the building. I know. I wasn't even finished. I was over here on my snap. Bel Air, shout out to Bel Air. Man, about to pour up for the uh, for the team. You know what I'm saying? No mimosa of the day or straight champagne. That's what we're gonna do. It's rose, oh. so you can you can drink it straight. It's rose. Oh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't I ain't like that. that. Hard. Hey, so uh, I'm sorry. I'm still on Popeyes and no sweet heat sauce and um, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to. I had to get focused real quick. I mean, honestly, it could have been worse because sometimes they don't be having chicken. What the fuck have you going to Popeyes? They don't have no fucking chicken. Oh shit, mad times. I ain't never been to Popeyes. They had no chicken. <laughs> you go to you go to Popeyes no on chicken. a late on a late night tip. They be like, "Can I get some? We don't have any chicken wings." So why are y'all open? That's what y'all sell. Like, I mean, what they are got we? Red beans and rice. You know, it never going to make any sense why every McDonald's in the world would never have ice cream. At some point, they don't have ice cream. Yeah. Because yeah. so. people like that. I mean, I've I never really been a big Mike McDonald's ice cream person, but I can, I can see that. People what, like a McFlurry? Hell yeah. I'll take a McFlurry. I but everything, at McDonald's, good. everything is I won't is eat McDonald's but like that, but McFlurries, I could always eat a McFlurry. Oh. They soft serve ice cream as popping. Definitely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but they never have it, so you only get it every once in a while, so it doesn't matter. Facts. Let's, um, <laughs> let's get into last, well, this upcoming week. What, what happened, man? Mm. How was the week for you? What was the week like for me? I've really been really mellow this week. I've been having a lot of things I've been dealing with internally in the house and what just you been mentally. With internally? Um, I don't know. Like, I've just been in my own head or in my own space or just trying to remain positive. You know, I think it's definitely a lot going on in the world right now. And I think we all feel everything that's going on around us, inside of us, in the house with us, inside on the other of side us. of us. Oh, shit. What you mean? What's inside of you? What do you mean? You said everything around us, inside yeah, of it's, us. Yeah, it's like, I, I, it's generic because I really don't have a way to pinpoint it because that's why I'm. it's just a lot going on because I can't even, it might not, it's not even... Really anything. It's just a whole bunch of things. Though. Talk about it. I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere is going through the same thing, man. It's just a whole bunch of shit going I, on. I believe they're going through the mood, which I'm really saying. It's just like it's a lot of uncertainty. We don't know what's going on. And when you don't know what's going on, it creates a lot of just feelings. That's just, It's just emotions. It's like going through the motions. It doesn't have to be one thing. It just be like, for example, like I have tons of little things I have to do in the house. But I'm exhausted mentally because I'm trying to prepare for the unknown. I'm trying to get done what I have to do right now. So it's just a lot going on. Um, so because of that, I just been kind of just to myself. I haven't been on social media like that. I haven't really been engaging with people like that as much as I would like to. I know a lot of people be hitting me. I, I got a lot of unread messages. It's not purposeless. Purposely. Pur- Purposeful. It's not on purpose. It's just because I'm dealing with myself and I'm trying to recharge so that I can pour back out. Mm. So, Do you think that uh, yeah. the coronavirus is just, or not even coronavirus, the quarantine thing? Is causing a lot of uncertainty. Is is I think in in spite of the quarantine itself, I think it's just the world we live in right now. Like the world is filled with a lot of uncertain measures. Like we have a government who's running us through a pandemic that is completely unsure. We have just all these theories and these things that could potentially happen. We also have what we don't know even to happen that can the just the feeling of knowing that the world can change at any moment and it's realer than real now like i think we always knew that but i don't think our generation has really lived through some crisis of a situation in the world like we didn't live through the world war you know ones and twos we didn't live through civil wars we didn't live through slavery we didn't live through, so we didn't live through the holocaust we like we didn't live through so many things and this is like Something that we actually are living through, and I think just knowing that anything, finally feeling like anything can happen at the, in the world at any time, it can be overwhelming because you want to be prepared, you want to do better, you want to live better, you also got to get all the things that you you haven't been doing right, right, and then you got to prepare to do more things. It's just, it could just be overwhelming. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot that I think a lot of people can just have on their mind that in sound, general. Sound like a bunch of stress. Sheesh. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but I don't, the thing is, it's not even stress. It's just, I think, it's just... 
letting emotions flow and you kind of you have to kind of like to me for me to let my emotions flow like i'm not scared to i'm not scared to feel anything i'm going to feel everything so that i can feel it rejuvenate so that i can pour out and be there for the people who are trying to get through that same process that i just had to be out of so it's not like really stress it's just going through the motions i think we're human we feel just as much of everything energetically going on through the outer world as we do in ourselves like we can feel all the emotions we can feel the sorrow of the people losing their loved ones to covid 19 we could we could feel all these things in in repetition so it's like you just have to you got to slow down it's like one of those things it's like you got to slow down and feel it out and rejuvenate and pour back into yourself so that you can you know, no, a get fact. back out. And the whole yeah. team is in the building. Shout out to my guy, Wyman, uh, on the cameras. And he taking pictures. Shout out to my girl, Monique. She's Yo. on the screen right now. I don't know shout what to, the fuck I just threw up. Shout out to Jewel and my guy, Alex. Yo, how, <laughs> how, how, how have y'all week been, man? What, what What's going on in the week with y'all? So for me, I'm in a similar space to Sade. I just been trying to like get back on track, take a break from social media, take a break from just everything that I feel like I've been consuming myself with and just like reconnecting with God on a deeper level, trying to just get more organized and adjusting to the whole work from home. You know, had my moments where I'm just like, bro, it seemed like I'm working more, working from home than I was when I was actually out filming yep. and everything. Mm-hmm. But just, just adjusting for me yeah. and just trying to maintain a good work-life balance even though we can't really be out that's mm-hmm. been my thing this week like just all right so what can i do like i've been working out more i've been being more intentional about my projects i've been working on a screenplay so i started writing that again Very nice trying to just jump back into projects that i never really completed so i'm on the right you, path. you said you uh you was starting to get back on track and you back in your bag yeah you, um not really a lot, a lot of negative thoughts is not filling your brain no more. You was like, you're back in your bag. Yeah, no, because I feel like it's easy to kind of be hard on yourself mm-hmm. and to kind of be all over the place of just like your own, you know, sometimes you be your own worst enemy. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like I was just too hard on myself. Things I wanted to accomplish that I didn't achieve yet. Putting a time frame on when I thought I was supposed to achieve it versus like, you know, really just being like, yo, you Give doing this shit. Grace. Like, you, you know, right. like you, you're doing a lot of great stuff out here. Like, stop being so hard yep. on yourself. Just take your time to organize and move forward. 100%. Alex, what's going on with you, man, through the week, man? What's going on? Uh, man. I know it's, you're working on a website and shit. What's going absolutely on? Absolutely working on a website for the nonprofit. But it's funny because I'm listening to everybody, and I feel like everybody here kind of went through that same reflective moment this week because this moment this week i had a moment of peace like where everybody where i kind of like accepted everything that's going on and like though like i feel like that was big for me because i accepted the fact that it's not my fault you know what i mean but it's something that i have to deal with Thanks. and i felt like i was beating myself up for like everything that was going on around me but the fact that like you know uh, i was able to put myself in a space of moving forward and accepting that this is the virus it's here it's gonna go away when it goes away but i can't stop moving uh i've been real productive and you know it's just been a it's been a productive week that's good i was watching some um gary v and it definitely got me motivated or like yeah inspired to do some shit. and um i wrote some things down on my phone i think i'm gonna try to like start writing and like blogging it's up it's crazy because it's something that i never thought i would, would want to do but something that like not everybody, but a few people around me throughout my life always was like, yo, you should just write. So, like, uh, I think I'm going to start doing that. I don't know yet because it's still, like, in thinking process. But watching the Gary Vee definitely got me inspired and, like, all right, let me try this. Let me try that. It wanted, made me try new things. Um, Yeah, man. So, uh, that's where I'm at with it. And speaking of that, trying new things, I just got it. So, let's talk about this, man. Let's get into this podcast. So, y'all seen uh, um, the little hectic gun shit that's been going around, right? So how do y'all feel about that? Cause I, at first I was Don't like, do it. at first I was like, uh, because it's money laundering and it's against the law, and I can actually pull up the law it's against. Oh well, she's yeah. <laughs> so this has done her research, yeah. right? So against the law, you're not supposed to do it, and most of you guys are probably gonna get your cash app shut down. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, I was looking at it, and I was at first I was like, man, I ain't doing this shit, man. But then I just say everybody. Get involved and getting that money in my mind. Fuck that. I'm about to give it a try. Cause I feel like I just seen so many people come in and out of uh like um wake up now. Uh <laughs> shit, you name it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, every time somebody come up with some new shit, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And this time I was like, let me just give it a try. But you the thing is, saying? like people think like they think of like those like wake up nows and what they actually have a product they're selling. That's why they can actually do that. When you don't have a product you're selling and you're just literally trading money for money, it's actually illegal to mm. do that. You guys are not in a casino. 
You know, we just watched Molly's game. You know how this goes. It's against the law. Uh, but not the, you know, a lot of people came up on it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to them. I also seen a lot of people who lost money on it. So I feel bad for them because they're not getting their money back. And I see them threatening people on their stories and like, you know, you need to get my da 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 my money back and da da da. And I feel bad for them. But what I will say is like, wow, y'all motherfuckers is greedy. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is getting a stimulus checks. I still ain't getting no stimulus check. And y'all still need to go play scare pyramid schemes to get some more money. I'm still over here trying to wait for my stimulus check. Y'all need to relax because y'all taking people's money that they just got from their stimulus check. Just so y'all could do a scheme so the person in the middle could get their money. Y'all need to relax. I'm being greedy. You know Let what I'm saying? Let me tell you what you how is so full of shit, yo. <laughs> I be trying to go, like, go along with it, but it be so boring. Like, yesterday, she literally just told me you should do it. Like, I said, if it's for you, it ain't for me. No, I she literally said, yo, you should do it. I, I think told, you can do it. So you're not going to lie and say this morning when you, when you said, I'm nah, not going to lie. You're you said, right. I'm going to tell you, the truth. Exactly. You right. Said, I'm you not going to lie. Yesterday. Okay. Relax. You said yesterday. I was like, I mean, if it's for you, do it. You said, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I could do that. I said, you probably can because you got the following for it. Right. Yeah. Boom. Today you came. You was, I was like, I told you, I was like, uh, I ain't really feeling it, but I'm, it's not for me. But if you want to go ahead and do it. So don't sit here and say I'm full of shit because I told you the same thing. It ain't for me. This is my genuine advice for so it i don't think anybody think, should do it but people came up on it if you think it works for you do if you don't it's think not, anybody not, should do it the advice should have been like nah yeah don't do it if i said yeah i don't think i'm gonna do it you said I'm i think you should do it you got the following that's to me that's like but hypocritness, i also no it's not because i told you before because if you putting, don't think you should no, do it you should tell me not to do it no first of all i told you either way i don't go fuck with anybody if you want to do it do it for you right i said what i said i said i'm not doing it even when i told you that i said i'm not doing it i said if you want to do it do it i said the same thing today i said look these are the reasons why i think you to do it you still want to do it that's your business like like don't come on here and say i'm like no hypocrite about it i told you the same exact thing look i said the same thing shout out to the people getting money for it but there's also people losing money i told you that this morning too before you get on the podcast and get up here cap cap capping out your ass what, what period so for me i feel like I mean, for me, I, I'm a, I don't know. I'm like both sides. So like, as, with Shawty's side, I'm with her. I'm like, I'm not doing that shit. But for me, I feel like if you do do it, I think if you have a good solid eight or more people that you know are ambitious and going to really try to hustle and bustle and get another person and even reinvest, then you might can you know make some money. But I don't know how long it's going to keep Fact. replenishing. That's so it's I'm definitely gonna. a pyramid scheme. But yeah. it's like I don't know. You can you can you can come up and you can lose as well somebody called me like yo i'm about to uh see this bread but i don't know that i'm like i'm gonna be straight up with you yeah you can lose or you can come up it's like it's a gamble so it's up to you i'm not here to, to convince anybody what was funny to me was like i said when yesterday she they like you can do it and then she's like it's a scam it's, it's, I, it's I mean not, she was like now you're lying I, no i said yesterday you said do it if you because i ain't say like that either. you was like if you you mm -hmm. think you you got a following you should do it and then i'm like yeah. all right bet and then today she's like no nah, it's against the law it's money law i'm like no. shit if i'm your boyfriend if it's against the law I instead of saying you should do it you're like babe no nah, i don't think you should do I still it i didn't say it's against the law and then you I said, said that, that like, i said to you i said look i'm telling you i said i'm telling you no i'm not saying i didn't say it against the law i said i didn't say it like that so you that's exactly what you said the rewind that you said I didn't say it anyway. Lot. Next, because I'm ready to talk. Because Jay already, I, I clearly see what type of podcast you want, and I'm gonna give it to him. So let's go. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Since that's what you want. Um, do you want to get into this podcast? I was getting into okay, the podcast. Okay, segment one on Sade talking points. Time for 15 minutes. <laughs> um, okay, so my talking points for today is outgrowing things. My talking points for today is outgrowing things in a relationship and how it affects your partner. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can run the podcast by yourself. It was a, it no, was go ahead. Funny, finish. Go, go, go to your go topic. Because, <laughs> period. Because I don't go give ahead, a fuck. Go ahead, go ahead, go no, thanks. You I'll, can go ahead. I'll go wait. Ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say your, 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 talk, your, your talking point for today. Come on, for a what? You ain't going to say your talking point? Go ahead. Oh, you done? Yeah. You done kiki, kiki, giggling, thinking shit funny. Oh, oh now you God. want me to go. Now you you done? You sure? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Anyway, outgrowing things in a relationship and how it affects your partner. So uh, I got this talking point today uh, because, you know, I was really heavily thinking on just like, you know, well, I was watching a lot. I've been watching a lot of movies. As you know, we've been quarantined, so I've been watching movies all over the place. So I've just been seeing little things, and I it, it just – kind of stuck with me like you know we're still all very young 
you know, and we are, we have like many more lives to live. Like, and I hear, you know, you used to hear that when your parents say like, you got all this life to live, you don't know nothing. But now that I'm about to be 30 this year, yes, I'm about to be 30 this year. I've realized like one, I've already lived many lives. I feel like in my short time frame, but I still feel like I have so many more lives to live. And I also realized that, you know, every year that I change as a person. So I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago. And that's only going to continue to happen along my journey. So like, yeah, I'm going to be 30 this year, but by the time I'm 40, I'm not going to be the same person as 30. And I do mean that in a lot of things. I might not like the same things I like. I might not want to do the same things I used to do. I might want not like the same, sit in the same circles anymore. Like my whole preference and opinions can change drastically. And I was thinking about like, damn, that could really affect your partner. Um, and in and, and, and ways more like, you know, you know, me and Jay had a little situation and this, this is not the actual situation, but just a generic way to put it, you know, of additionally to add on to the thought, I know it was like, well, you know, before you used to say this and now you're kind of saying this and like, you know, in that moment, Jay was very justified for saying that. Right. But I was starting to think like, damn, like as my preferences change, as times go on and my preferences, you know, go a different way, I might change my opinion and my thoughts 20,000 more times. How do you grow with your partner as they're changing their patterns and their process of thinking and their, you know, emotions and the things they used to once like that you might wake up three years from now and your partner might not like that anymore. Like, I was trying to think to myself, like, what would this look like? Like, what would this feel like? Like, if in two years, I really just don't like nothing of what I used to like now and my whole taste has changed in different things how that would look in my relationship or how the, even vice versa, if it's him, like, like, I think just in either one, like, how does that affect your partner? You know what I mean? So that, just, that was just a thought of mine. And like one thought I got from it, I was like, you know, like people will preach this unconditional love and then they say things like you change, but it's like, of course I did. I was never supposed to stay the same. And even if my change doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean it doesn't work for me. Will you love me still? Like, if my change completely is against everything you met me at 10 years ago, but 10 years later, I'm, do you still love me? Are you going to still unconditionally love me? Are you going to leave me because I'm not the same person that I was 10 years ago? But then it's like, we have to give everybody grace to change because we all are going to change drastically, especially through situations, through hardship, through new jobs, through new living environments, through new friendships, through new, just so many things is going to alter us. Can we really say we unconditionally love somebody if we're we're challenging or going against the fact that they're changing? You know what I mean? So that just was it's, it's not a real question to it. It's just more so a, a conversation that I that I've been thinking about of just as growing into a woman. Like I feel like I'm tur- I'm going into my thirty year my thirtieth year, and I'm like, whoa! Like I feel like mentally my mind is even changing. I know a lot of my you know I already have like a lot of thirty year old friends, and I know they say yo at thirty this you know, my body just, as soon as 30 hit, like, my body started feeling different, or as soon as 30 hit, like, I hear all these things, and I'm, like, going into my 30th year, and I finally am experiencing, like, yo, I feel like I'm changing a, a, a lot, so I'm, like, how, how is that gonna affect my, you know, my relationship, like, you know what I mean? No, I think, um, <clears throat> you definitely got a point about changing and unconditional love, uh, what I will say is, it's, it's nothing wrong with changing at all like you definitely want to grow especially if you're changing for the better what i will say is a lot of people they so you can use things for a a, a good uh uh a positive or negative and sometimes things are just indifferent right so and it's fine with that but what i will say is a lot of times people use that change thing or they try to use things in the benefit of themselves and they try to use things when it's convenient for them so <clears throat> for example like man our situation um uh, I don't know. We we were talking about something, and we we disagreed. We disagreed on one thing one time, and then the next time we came, and we uh, it was like a change of heart, right? That's what you're talking about, right? No, that wasn't what I was talking. About. But you could use that. <clears throat> whatever so you like, use for your oh right, yeah. So one time, like, uh, Shadi didn't agree with something, and then uh, fast forward, and it she had did something similar. But I guess like she changed her mind or she changed that way of thinking about it. And it's, 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 that's okay with changing your mind and, and changing your way of thinking about it. However, you just got to be fair in both of y'all because y'all, y'all are a couple. So if you understand that you didn't like something at one point in time and then you got over it or you learned 
that is different or you you learn something new which is fine you have to have grace and understand that you know what I didn't react in the same situation then. So if I'm going to do that, even though I change, I need to understand that how it can not backfire, but how it can come on me or how I can look, how I can be per, uh, perceived about this. So you know what? Let me go into it apologetic. Well, not even apologetic because you don't, you don't have to apologize for you change, but at least understanding. So look, yo, I remember one time I was upset for you for doing like for doing this. And eventually I saw that this wasn't the right thing or I, I shouldn't have been upset because of ABCD, right? So if I did that, please apart please allow me to grow and understand that I didn't mean anything then. I just learned something new. And a lot of times I don't feel like people go into it like that. They go into it like, well, it is what it is type thing. And and love is both ways. It's not just one way. So like, yeah, I can love you unconditionally, but if you if I'm loving you unconditionally and you're not filling my cup back up because we got to fill both of each other cups so if, I, if you're not if i'm filling your cup up or i'm doing my best to fill your cup up and i don't feel like i'm getting the same from your cup then yeah i can still love you but i but at that point i gotta love you from afar because i gotta love myself first right i gotta do what i gotta do to to love myself unconditionally like we were talking about last week so i think you can love somebody unconditionally one i think you supposed to change for the better and grow but if y'all are not growing together and y'all growing apart then that's where the conflict at and that's where the love unconditionally come in to the to the place if you follow me if, 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 it, if it makes sense but also right because love is complicated in itself it's not just a simple thing you can't just say all right one plus one equals two that's not love right love is way more complicated than that so the hardest part about love is and i think we talked about this before is the actual part of growing together because growing in itself is uncomfortable for yourself like you on your own it's been plenty of times where i cried because i didn't want to make the same decision i made last last year or two years from now and i know that wasn't the right decision and i cried because my body is so used to doing what's comfortable for me so now when i start to to do things in a better way it's uncomfortable i'm not used to it i i gotta get used to it so now is my body is, is growing right so when you're growing with somebody else it's already hard enough to grow by yourself then you got to add somebody else and then you got to ex add accepting where they at at their growth where you are at their growth ac accepting that they might not accept you at your growing point is is love is just you know what I'm i feel like it's um when you talk about unconditional love it's so many elements to it and just it's not just like one part and one part equals another part that's what i would think any well oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah that was it um well, they could go first. You go. I mean, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, for me, y'all hit it on the nose. So I was about to say, y'all can, you know, you preach. Yeah. That's oh, all. oh, we preach it. Come on. So uh, what I was going to say, too, um, you know. Let me hit that. Um, hit yeah. Um, another side of this is like, you know, so when I compare unconditional love, I can only do it to the highest form of unconditional love I know, which is mother to child, because I have a child, right? So, and what I look at that is like, you know, I already expect Amaya is not going to do things that I like. Like, she's going to do a lot of things I don't like. Um, she might, you know, I'm growing her to be this person, but she can very well at any stage be influenced by something else to make her own decision to not want to be the person that I, I try to grow her to be or I envisioned her to be. Mm -hmm. So she's going to, you know, she's going to make mistakes. She's going to, you know, do things that is totally against the grain and um, through her years of life. Like my daughter's 10 now. She still got to get to 16. She, she got to get to 13, 16, 18, 21. And I know what all of those ages looks like as a young woman. So, you know, unconditionally loving her through that process. You know, I think that, you know, like only like I agree with everything you said. The only part that, you know, I didn't agree with, with was when you said that I think that people do things for the benefit of themselves. I think people do things because they're just growing in themselves and they don't know any better. Mm -hmm. Like, right. Right. So because of that, like, you know, I think that's where it comes a, a lot of times, like through these changes, I think, you know, something I read before, like, you know, and I brought this up recently is how uh, this man and this woman was married for like 60 years. And somebody asked him, like, how did you continue to keep loving the same woman for so long? He was like, because every person she was, I loved each one of them no matter who she was like you know what I mean and I think that a lot of times like sometimes people think like there's going to be seasons that people are going to like you know when you say like even like grow for the better there's going to be sometimes people to get to that better they're going to have to get to this middle part that's not going to be the better they have to see these unwinding and onion peeled layers of these ugly stages and that's what I mean about unconditional love because I think a lot of times we as humans take things so personal and it doesn't have anything to do with us like even growing together and growing apart yes you have to remember but because we are individuals it's going to be a lot of times we're growing 
in our minds and in our bodies and it has nothing to do with you or it has nothing to do with me or it has nothing to do with these. And I think a lot of times, especially like I'm getting prepared for like, you know, me and Jay are aiming for longevity, but I'm also like understanding like, yo, there's going to be times we don't like each other, like just real shit because in five years, 10 years, 15 years, I don't know who I'm going to be. Like mm-hmm. I've been, I'm, th- I'm about to be 30 this year. I feel like I've been 20 different women throughout my life. Like from a girl to a woman, like even in the in-betweens, like, and I keep changing the type of woman I am. I keep changing the type of, you know what I'm saying? Just for my own journey. And that's, and that is what, it's not a scary feeling, but like, um, you know, shout out to Brittany Chantel. Cause I seen her made a post where her husband, about her husband the other day and um, their situation that everybody kind of asks them, like, you know, how did you know he was the one? She said, I never knew he was the one till well after we were married. She was like, because you don't know who's the one until you see that the person that I'm trying with the same person and the same person makes a choice to keep trying with me. Like, you never know. Like, you, you're never going to know. You're never going to know if you're going to make it. You never, until you realize, like, we are literally committed to continuously trying because it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to look like, always it's not always going to be rainbows and butterflies sometimes it's going to look like hell like are you ready for that like not even are you ready for that you really don't know until those points like you know what i mean you don't know until hell is here and then he's like all right are we gonna walk through this fire together or are we not because sometimes hell could, in 15 years nah i know we've been 15 years but it's a lot of people been married for 30 years and divorced mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's a lot of people so you know that that's just a topic i wanted to touch on because i think that um even in a lot of people's relationships you know i think everybody goes through their hardships or even their happy times or you know and but they they expect something to be in order for our relationship to work like it has to be like this or in order for us to go up to make marriage it has to be like this or in order for all these things but another point I wanted to make to that is like a lot of us are getting our what relationship looks like on either women or men we previously dated um parents that we seen that might have not had the best relationship like we don't really know an ideal situation a lot of us like there's some that we might like oh I like that situation but we ain't never really experienced the situation that we really like because we are actually the ones experiencing our situation like we're not gonna know to the end of our situation or like through the situation like nah this you know what I'm saying that's why I really think like nobody should be your relationship goals you should be your relationship goals period like you know what i'm saying like i don't look like there's there's relationships that i i admire how they move or i'm like oh i like how they doing that whatever but there's never a relationship like you know damn like i want my relationship to be like that because one we don't know what it looks like on the inside mm-hmm. two because we're not the ones experiencing their shoes and they didn't experience our shoes so we don't know what our journeys look like on a different spectrum so you know i definitely think that's something like you know i wanted to talk about just like growing in a relationship on and what that looks like and what to expect i think like it's really one of those things i seen somebody say what's the best advice you know some somebody i, I like as a intellect um I seen her, somebody asked her, what was your best relationship advice? And she was like, take that shit day by day. And I said, damn, that ain't, if that ain't the realest shit I've ever heard, you got to take it day by day. I think um, what people go wrong with relationships is it's not even, just outside of like sexual relationships, business relationships, all type of relationships is the emotions. They let the emotions get the best out of, out of them and understanding that, and not understanding that emotions are temporary. So like, you could feel one way, one time, one day, and literally feel the total opposite, not even the next day. You could feel the total opposite in an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like the next 30 minutes, the next second, you could feel the opposite. A lot of people don't understand that relationships takes discipline. You know what I'm saying? And it's far past just any, an emotion because, like you said, sometimes- It's a choice. Yeah, it's sometimes, not an emotion. It's a choice. Yeah, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a commitment. So it's like, sometimes you might not like your partner in that moment, and the next moment, you might love them to death. You know what I'm saying? So- People got to take a talk. Well, it's hard to... Well, I, I, I have a different point than that. So I think, like, you don't have to like your partner, but you always love your partner. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, you know, it's crazy because I used to say, you know, this about my mom. I used to be like, I don't like her. I love her, but I don't like her. That was a sentence I remember, like, saying vividly. And I think, like, you're always supposed to... Like, if you don't love your partner, then you don't need to be there. But I think you don't have to always like them in every season. Like, you know what I mean? Because... I ain't gonna lie, like, I, me and Jay been off and on. Like, I ain't been fucking with this nigga a couple times. Like, just like he ain't been fucking with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, there's 
seasons where we're not there either, but I don't want to sugarcoat it for anybody to, for anybody to feel like we're always like this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just times like it's he, we have our differences like and we have we're our own person. Like shit sometimes my friends get on my fucking nerves and it just be like what it is. Shit my daughter gets on my nerves like I'm human. I'm allowed to feel those emotions and I think people are scared to say that out loud because now they're not this goals couple or now they're not this goals person. Like fuck all that. No. The fuck? Yeah. I ain't like it. So I think I don't like it. So I think like, like when it comes to emotions, you got to just be able to like understand your emotions and not even control it just let it flow you know what i'm saying like let it let it be that so if you if you don't like somebody in that moment just be like all right you know what if you don't accept something in that, in that moment i think a lot of times in relationships if somebody don't treat you how you deem you need to be treated you're ready to leave because then you want you want you feel like you can find the perfect per person for you when honestly this might sound crazy but the perfect person for yourself is yourself to keep it 100 because what happens is you got to understand what you're willing to take which you're not willing to take. But those things that you're not willing to take, you got to be able to come to ease with yourself. Like, all right, is this something that I'm not, not willing to take or is this something that I'm scared to take? You know what I'm saying? Is this something that I'm scared to move past? Is this something that I'm scared to grow through? Because a lot of times, things that we don't like, we don't like it because it's pushing us further than our limit. And anytime we go further than our limit, that's a growing part point. So a lot of times we just, it ain't that, this is what we don't we won't we, we, mm, this is a lot of times it's not we won't accept this it's just we not we won't allow it you know what i'm saying we we won't accept it because we're scared to because we're scared to grow because it's so uncomfortable that it hurts yeah. and to add to that um just one point like you said our limits and it's not even your limit it's what you think your limit mm -hmm. is and mm -hmm. it's that and i just want to add that part yeah. nah basically that's what i'm saying like because a lot of times we think that's our limits because we're scared like it's, it's um i compare it to pledging or whatever so like with me the, the hardest part I thought like when I was pledging that everything that came with it was going to be hard, right? And then I sh slowly but surely understood that the hardest the hardest part is the easiest part, and that's just coming back. Yeah. So, as long as you come back the next day, you're good. A lot of people quit during the middle in the in the meantime. So because you can't handle what's going on right now, so you're done. But what happens, and this is one of the things I loved about pledging is it shows you that commitment even though you think you had commitment or you 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 thought you was tested. This shows you that, you know what? Humility. And this moment, somebody is doing something to me that I don't like or however the case may be, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, right? So I'm going to keep going. At the end of the day, I might, at the end of the night or whenever we done that situation, let me reevaluate. Am I done? All right, I, I quit. I hate this shit. Da, da, da. All right, tomorrow, I, I vent it, whatever to myself, then I'm going to show up again. It's going to be the same shit. But as long as you keep showing up, it's like, um... Compared to NA meetings, my moms did drugs and, and, and drank alcohol. And at, at, at the beginning of the, the, the meetings, they always be like, all right, what's your name? You say, I'm, my name is da-da-da. I'm an addict. They say, all right, thank you for sharing. Keep coming back. So the keep coming back part is what, what makes it so special. So like to agree with you, saying, like as long as you continue to come back, it is no losing. But so, <clears throat> and, and that just brings me, and we can end this part here so we can move on to your topic. Uh, you know, most people probably heard, heard this quote before, but I think it's one of these important quotes, especially when we talk about our limits or what we deem as our limits. Um, and the quote, again, most of you guys might heard it, but it just dawned on me. And it's like, anything that annoys you is teaching you patience. Anyone who abandons you is teaching you how to show up and stand up on your own two feet. Anything that angers you is for teaching you forgiveness and compassion. Anything that has the power over you is for teaching you how to take your power back. Anything you hate is teaching you unconditional love. Anything you fear is teaching you courage to overcome your fear. And anything you can't control is for teaching you how to let go and trust the universe. So, right. Mm, I like that. I like that. I like oh. that. Yeah. So, so we was, um, I wanted to talk go. about resentment and holding on to the past. So like mm -hmm. a lot of times, like you said, we grow, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with growing. But a lot of times <clears throat> through those growing pains and through those growing processes, somebody did something that somebody would, they didn't like and then they, they deemed they hurt them. And when you're moving forward, sometimes you're holding on to that pain and you don't know how to let it go. <clears throat> so I wanted to just talk about resentment. Do you... How do you move past resentment? And how do you really get over something? How do you really forgive somebody? So before I answer that question, the the question that, you know, I want to ask is, does resentment and relationship coexist? Can mm. it coexist? Is it, 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 should it coexist? What, it's, just a, it's just a thought. I don't know. I'm asking. So I think... Um, and I'll let Jewel and Alex can answer, you know, whatever. 
you know, d- is is relationship just, and resentment supposed well, I mean, to just let it go? Can so they done. can they coexist? Are they supposed to coexist? Uh, it, it, obviously, they coexist. Like they it, obviously, it happens. Mm-hmm. Like we know that, but should it be coexisting? For should- me. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it. Sh- I wouldn't say should it or should it not. I feel like it's just again, love is not. It's not one plus one equals two. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different algorithm and a whole different math equation. So to ask should it cause this, we can easily say yes or no, right? And I'm not going to say yes or no to make anybody's answer be higher or lower than anybody else. But what I will say is that can be up for debate. The okay. the real answer to me, to me, in my opinion, is it does coexist. Okay. Even if, if it should, it shouldn't. Because what happens is you have people in relationships. Not even. I'm not. I'm far past sexual relationships and um, personal relationships. I'm talking about business. All type of relationships. You have relationships that last so long that things happen that people are hurt from, and w- they move on so fast sometimes that they don't really forgive. So even if they don't think they resent or they don't think they're holding on to it, they don't know until another situation come up, and then their mind does what their mind does. Un- like just unconsciously that they don't even know it goes back to the last time that person hurt me so yeah i'll forgive you right okay cool i forgive you it's over we can move forward i don't think about it until the next time you do that same exact thing okay. now it's like oh my god now it's like you all you you keep doing that because last time but honestly if we really forgave it ain't no because last time but that's just what our mind does unconsciously well, but i guess the real question i ain't gonna cut you off the real question is do you is this something you want like is this something that you like of course it happens we know that like every like that that that's standard like not standard but like people hold on to resentment like that that it's an emotion that's felt right but is that something like it's just like again a question for anybody is that something you would allow in your relationship like if resentment is, is here do you do you walk away from that because it's like resentment shouldn't live here so, it's just a question okay yeah. So for me, just to chime in really quickly, I feel like from my personal experience, no, I wouldn't allow it. And I'm single right now. I'm not in a relationship, but I'm thinking about an example I had with one of my friendships. And I've been friends with this girl for, you know, throughout college for a little minute. And things happened in our relationship where she was upset with me about something that happened, I'll say like four or five years ago, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about it. She forgave. We moved forward. It was a conversation we had. Mm-hmm. Basically, me being mm-hmm. too real with her, I hurt her feelings, mm-hmm. and you know whatever the case may be. Gotcha. But I feel like I seen the resentment recently as we tried to like continue to be friends, right. and I had realized that she still felt the way through not being invited to something right. that all the rest of the friends and stuff was invited right. to. And then for me, it showed me in that moment that she was like resentful for everything that happened. But because we were still moving, like we were friends. Like, you know, to touch back on what yeah. you said, Jay, it just was, like, weird to me. So I was kind of caught off guard, like, oh, I thought we were good. I thought we mm-hmm. talked about it. I thought mm-hmm. you forgave me. Mm-hmm. But now I'm learning, like, you never really forgave mm-hmm. me because you might have moved too fast. Like, mm-hmm. your love for me might have made you feel like, all right, well, I'm going to try to make this work. But deep down inside, you really still hurt by it. Right, right, or, right. <clears throat> but the thing about it is that's so, like, so that's what I say about, like, love is is, is not just one plus one equals two. But, and I, I'm going to keep saying that because... What happens is, like, even if you do something to hurt them, you have to accept that you hurt them. So even if they're not over it, that's okay. We How have long? to give them grace and patience mm-hmm. to get over it. You know what I'm saying? So if it's like accepting isn't just a forgiving, forgiveness isn't just a one-way mm-hmm. street. It's two ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I have to forgive you. You have to for- forgive yourself. I have to forgive myself. I think it's, 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 it's multiple facets of, of life and it's multiple right. facets of love. So it's like, yo, all right, bet. I forgave you. But because my actions don't deem what you think is forgiving or don't deem what you think is the way I should be moving after I forgive you, then you won't accept it. And now it's, it's expectations. We got to eliminate the ex- expectations. But it's so it's it's easier said than done. That's why I'm like, it ain't one plus one equals two. Because now, yeah, I can say that. But now when you have a friend and y'all are so used to doing these things together, and y'all can't do those things together. As a friend, it's like, well... I don't want the friendship, but we can't do that. That's why I say it's easier said than done. But I believe in those relationships, you just got to keep coming back. So even if that's not the case, like Shadi said, you might have a season. That might be a season where it's though, all right, bet. She's not over it, but we're going to keep kicking it. Or he's not over it, we're going to keep kicking it because that's my friend. And that's that's the right thing to do. Unless, it's, unless it was something that was just 
And this is, again, it's something um, subjective. Unless it was something that was detrimental to your life or, or detrimental to your, your character that you can't move forward, then it should be no... Again, this is my personal... Spec, um, this is my personal opinion. If, unless it's something detrimental, if you call somebody your friend, that should be your friend for a lifetime so y'all can get over anything unless it's detrimental to your life or your character or whatever you deem that's your your standard right um a lot of times i, th I just think we we put we put um titles on people that just shouldn't be titles that could be girlfriend that could be friends that could be best friends that could be homies and a lot of times we just gotta if we're gonna call somebody our friend we gotta have patience to let them be our friends we have to have patience for when we when we go in our moments when we don't fuck with each other it's just it's, it's so many aspects because we can say patience we can say transparency we can say uh resentment we can say it's so many things it's not just one aspect of love and love is subjective to who you are but yeah, i so only can say you love people the best way you can love them and then so my, um so I, like this is just even a like jules example into golf or, like yours so like you know just even in a friendship term so like like i said like love is you know you know because like you know you love your friends or whatever like so i, I kind of had a friend in a situation like that and um i also think it's to talk of boundaries because uh just as much as we went like last week is like how long like do you like for example so like you know i felt like um you know, me and my friend had, there were some things that she did that I didn't like. There's some things that I did that she didn't like, you know what I mean? And we were going through that process of, you know, just like being over certain things or whatever, whatever. But she kept doing something that I just didn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and after a while, like, I just was like, look, I fuck with you, but we ain't, we can't go back in that road because I have my own boundaries and that's just not something that I want to do. Like, I don't want to keep having to walk on egg shows with you. I don't want to ha keep having to feel like you are gonna you know what i'm saying like i don't want to like you know what i'm saying and i think like it's okay to i think you could pick your people who you want to walk that walk with but you don't have to walk it with everybody that's almost like keeping that toxic family member who keep doing toxic shit to you i don't have to like you know what i'm saying i'm grown enough to make my own decision like if my mom sucks this to me i always use my mom example because i love and i do with my mom out of choice you know what i'm saying but anytime i feel like it's a, a situation that's too toxic to me i push her back too i don't care who it is like you know what i'm saying and i think it's okay when you unconditionally love somebody to also love them from a distance you don't always have to love people right next to you like if i feel like i love you that doesn't mean because i'm not i don't want to deal with you in the same room that i don't love you the same it just means that i know my boundaries and i don't want to deal with you in that way you know what i'm saying so both sides are definitely valid you know what i'm saying but i just think for everybody it is different some people are willing to go a hundred miles, no matter how many times somebody's doing to, something to them. Like, I'll keep going at a hundred for you. I keep, then there's some people who have gone a hundred miles for people who had just always left them in the pit. So they now have made choices. Like, you know what? I don't have to do that. I know my limit. I could go this far and I feel like it's not changing. You know what? I got to pull myself back because I, I, I care about myself too. Is I could care about this friendship, this relationship, but I also care about myself too. So mm. like, I understand that you know what I'm saying? You got resentment. You feeling this way for me, but I don't want that type of friendship. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that type of relationship. I don't have to. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a. It's it's also some people just have different boundary levels, and it's okay whichever way it go. I just think that everybody is subjective in their love language or in their love life in general, whether it's friendship, relationship, business, or whatever. Same thing with business. If like you know we doing business, you keep slighting me. Like. I don't, I don't got to take the business no more. You know what I'm saying? It's really a choice on myself. And like, you know, like uh, one of my friends um, this weekend, you know, is in a new relationship and they asked me to like semi play therapist. So be unbiased. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling them both the same thing. I'm like, you know, when you, when somebody does something to you and you make the choice to go forward, that is your choice. You get what I'm saying? It is not to me. This is my opinion. It is not okay to keep bringing somebody through the water that they that that you are upset with every time like oh you well you it, it's not fair because you chose to keep going here if you didn't want it or you is still bothering you you should let this person walk because at that point you're playing yourself because why you want to keep dealing with somebody who's doing that to you why you want to keep having to say this to somebody why you if, if that's the case but if you make that decision to move forward and again yes very much easier than done but it has to be a practice because it's like at the end of the day, you're making your decision. You made your decision to stay. You made it so why do you want a miserable household or why do you want a miserable relationship when you don't, like, you know it's hurting you, you know it's bothering you if you cannot let it go because as much as forgiveness is a two-way street, forgiveness is really a one-way street when it boils down to what you're forgiving that somebody did to you. I don't have to keep 
telling this person, well, you did this or you did, or making little snarly remarks or making little slick comments or making, it ain't fair because you said, you know what? So I kind of played devil. I said, so do you accept the whatever, whatever? And do you accept it? I said, well, after that point, then it shouldn't be no more. And if it does go that, I did tell the other person, you have to give them a little patience and that is okay to give them patience. But after a certain point, you don't have to deal with it if you don't want to. You don't, you don't, you know? I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, that was too cold today. Mm, we, nah, I feel like, yeah, man, love is just like you never we really know, know until man. you never know but until. That's why I said best of the relationship advice that I've seen all week that I, 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 I didn't even think about all year. Take like that shit day by day because, again, we all going to be different day by day as well. So, you know, today I might, you or my, I might want to tolerate something and tomorrow I might just not want to. Or it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's, you gotta take it day by day. Like it really gotta go day by day. Yeah. Uh, go to Maya's. So we talking about um, moving on. We was talking. We getting into some some trending topics, I guess. Uh, the Meg the Stallion situation. Uh, well, I guess we have to hold off on that because it's on uh, Jules' phone and she went to the bathroom. Yeah, but. You know, before what, what, we, what, what, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so but she, we were going, we can, um, so I, I mean, she'll be back in time. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, Let's the conversation the before we play the clip, like we'll play the clip, but uh, Meg Stein basically was saying, Does the body count if you don't orgasm? Mm. Does the body count if you, all right, so Ooh. I think it's gonna be different. I feel, I feel like, uh. <laughs> I, I just want to say, wait, before we even start that. Yeah. Like the segue was, uh, this is hilarious because we were just so deep and everything. And we about <laughs> yeah, to get so real. Gonna, you know, let me just let, give you a disclaimer to everybody that's listening out there. We about to get real ratchet. Okay. Thanks. Just be, be ready. Right. So does the body <laughs> So does the body count if, if you don't orgasm? So I just want to tell men right now, there's tons of women who never orgasm with you. Mm. That's a fact. I know plenty of women to this day that say, I've never even had an orgasm. Don't even know what it feel like. So, and the thing is, you can come and not orgasm. Like, I think guys don't know that that's a thing. So, just because they came, that doesn't mean they had an orgasm. So, wait, that's the same thing. No, it's not. No, y'all talking about y'all talking about no, we're not talking about squirting because that's not an orgasm. Squirting is not an orgasm, it's actually pee. All right, so you're hitting like what are we talking about? uh, Orgasm and coming is different, yes, just because you come an orgasm. Oh, god. I don't know if me. you want me to explain this. Yeah, like what's, a, what's an orgasm? Let's, let me know. I feel a little inappropriate saying it. Monique, can you explain the orgasm? No, I don't, you gotta explain. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, you know, I don't feel Why comfortable. Because, like, I don't, because I don't feel, I don't, like, you already know, I don't even watch porn. So, like, I don't. So, if you could explain what an orgasm is. Monique, can you explain what an orgasm is for me, please? Okay. I'm just going to do it on a scale, right? So, on the feeling scale, right, of, like, how it. How, I'm not a woman, though, so I don't know how it's I know, that's what I'm trying to That's what I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you. All right, All right. One to ten, right? All right, so coming is like, give me a number. What's it, like a five, four? four? Yeah, like a four. Four or five, right? Mm-hmm. An orgasm is like a ten. Like, because the thing is, it's still, no, it's so, exactly it's, what it is. <laughs> right. No, okay. okay, so the thing is, is <laughs> it's, 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 so, so an orgasm is still, so what's squirting? It's still, it's, it's still uh, a, seven? So here's, here's the thing women's body, we can, like, we could be wet for no reason. We could mm-hmm. come for no reason. An orgasm, that's a built up feeling of yeah. excitement characterized. Like, it's, it's really out of this world. Like, yeah. it's not like a, it's not like when we, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come yeah. it's like you're gonna know yeah. like and, and if you and if you think you know because some girls are really just sexual as well where they still are like a little you know what i'm saying but orgasms it's like a you're lock going up. to it's, it's like, like a, lock a up. Like, yeah. like it's kind of retarded like i can't control it's myself kind of retarded and i think that with. men swear just because they made a girl that they're all great no there's tons of women out here G- girls please jump in this, these comments when i say it. it's tons of women i mean tons of women mm-hmm. Who's never had an orgasm or doesn't experience orgasms tons when they have sex. I never heard a girl say, oh, I'm about to orgasm. Because they're not telling y'all. Because they're, they're they spare egos. Yes, because they're not about the orgasm. I'm trying to tell you. You, you can't say. You're, you're not, you're not going to say. You're not going to say I'm about to have an organism. So, so, Nobody's so, going to so, say so that. When girl, so when a girl says she's about to come, she don't. She's just about to come. Yeah, she just 
She was about to come. So organ. So so what is an orgasm then? No, it, no, no. It, it's you. You can't. Again. Can I just say when you hit that climax, that's not a. Okay. When you hit the climax, it can. It depends on the woman. I'm just letting y'all know. It's a lot of women who never did it. And or have not done it with y'all. Ahead, I'm bro. trying to tell y'all. Uh, I don't know if I can say this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Fuck it. <laughs> women out there, please tell your men if you have never orgasmed. They're not. No, please. They're not. No, please. They're not. And I'm going to tell you why. Why? Why not? Uh, so, so I don't know how many articles I have read on why women, even, even when they fake moans, it's, it's a tons of things they do because y'all swear that y'all can handle that as an ego. Y'all can't. I'm trying can't to tell you. Y'all. It's, maybe you can. Maybe you can. I'm telling you, tons of men cannot. And because women still want a sexual experience at, to some degree, that she's not going to fuck it up to tell you she's not having an orgasm because she's still going to come. Like, she's still going to come. Is that is that That's not our fault. You ain't have an orgasm. If you ain't, like... Debatable. Like, if you, ain't, if you can't have an orgasm, like, that's... It's not like a personal problem. I think, or you ain't hit it right with orgasms too. I think it's more of like a like y'all mentally. Yeah, it's on also the level, mental. So it's like facts. The sex is just so yeah, much more intense. Yeah, exactly. But, but y'all it's, still have yet to t- like because it's not you. We can't. There's no. You can Google the definition. It's still going to just say a feeling. It doesn't matter. So like it's no. It's not. It's nothing. So you that's mean to tell cl- me coming and orgasm is not the same? Yes, it's not the same. Hmm, it's not the same. I knew that. I knew it wasn't. Yeah, the same. it's not the but. same. And I think a lot of men are so emotionally detached from sex that they don't understand it. But like Joel said, when you're mentally so inclined, when you the woman you're having sex with, oh, you're gonna know. So what's the point of you're no, gonna know? So what's the what's the point? How how would I know if if, if it's if you like, oh, I'm about to come, and I'm thinking that's an orgasm. That's that's how I know. Okay. I don't know <laughs> if this is know. true, but I don't I don't know what to tell you. Is it like an out of body experience? It is. It's very much so. Right, that's what I've heard. It's very much so. It's very much so. It's very much so. Like I think it's I've made. You probably did. But I'm trying to figure out. If you only. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how would I know as a man. Let me know how. I can tell I, you. I just feel like. I just feel like you. You'll know. You'll know. I don't because. You, even if you've no, done I it, think you're overly thinking it, but you know. But I'm saying even you if know. you've you you know. done it, I, I think you just came. Okay, but I feel like even even different comings. If that's the case, if that's the case, you don't always hear. Like for example, we'll talk about us since we're on here. You don't always hear me say I'm about to come. It doesn't mean I didn't come, right? Right. Yeah, so sometimes we'll. But it's you know times what I'm where you be like wilding, right? Exactly. So there you go. There you go. That's your answer. That's your answer right there. The times that I don't do that, then I'm not having an orgasm. I just came and it's flying. No, saying it's a, it doesn't mean you don't make me orgasm. It just you don't. Women don't do it all the time either. I don't think it's something that every time we have sex, we're yo. That's a lot. First of all, to or have an orgasm, it's a lot out of your fucking body. It's, it's it's a lot of emotion and a lot of it's just too much. So I think that the times you know, you know, but the times I'm still confused done. though because I still don't know if that was the time because I don't know if you was just having a hard come or you was what just. Just what? Hard come. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out now. I'm, I'm no, but now I'm confused about I'm like so. Right. As men, do we do we when we come? Is it like yeah? Like, I'm trying like, to figure out. Like wait, what? I've well, what's had, that question? Like when you come is, as a is, man, as a man, is coming an orgasm and the same thing? Is right. it well, um, like an outer body experience? No, no, it no, no. When y'all come, I think it's similar. But the thing is, y'all got to understand, we have two different. Pro- body processes like we true? have whole kids like you can't say so when we do it, it's like y'all know like because then y'all would have kids like y'all don't have that part like you know what i'm saying so so so, so you've definitely had an orgasm with you yeah oh wow. yeah <laughs> look that's all jay wanted to know i know that's no 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 wait wait because if you didn't you wouldn't tell me though okay so it's also dependent on the female so i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie i pro- like i probably it depends because like we're in a relationship for a long time like i would have to tell you or i'm just not gonna be sexually satisfied completely now if it was a nigga like in my dating stage if i was dealing with nah because i don't care so wait hold i up. don't care all right, all right, all right. i don't I'm care glad we got the educational part out the way yeah answer the question right does it count oh if uh if you, you don't did, or- if you didn't come play the video uh wait hold on i, want, I don't know what so if you, don't, if you don't orgasm so just to be honest None of my niggas counted before you, so I don't even care. <laughs> like, none of them count. Fact, she was a born again virgin, sis. That's why I said that shit. No, 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 no. You know, because you know, you know. Nah, please don't count for that. Don't count for that. You know why I want to know about this question? Why? Because this will know 
when hoes be lying about who they fuck or not. Because if it don't count, then they ain't but counting. But we know, they, but we know hoes lie about who the what the fuck? That's a that's not a that's of course they lie. Like of course they lie. Huh? I say y'all lie about your ugly girls over there. Yeah, yeah we so don't, like I mean we don't lie, I just don't bring it up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right, and, that, and it's the same thing for them. Yeah, like, they don't bring it up. Like, like but, if you ain't made so, me cut, you ain't so, made me so, like, so, why well, so talk a, about so it? So as a man, though, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't count the girls that gave me hit right. as a body. Like, I, I like, yeah. I just feel like it's a, it's, it's a moral thing. Like, it's like, that's kind of me lying on my dick. But even if she made me come, it's like, I like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, but that makes sense. Like, you ain't fuck her. So why would you say you didn't? You just get, she just she, gave she you head. But come. that's not, I mean, it's oral sex, but it ain't sex sex. Come on. Not that's not like, mouth. We ain't seven. Like, we ain't in seventh grade. Well, like, I mean, I fucked the mouth, though. So, I mean, I got off. No, but it's not the same. All right, go ahead. Let's, let's see the video. <laughs> let's, see, let's see the video. Let's, 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 let's hear this. If the dick was whack, don't come back. Ooh. Mm. Thing. Mm-hmm. Don't come back. Ooh. Mm. And we're live at if the dick, Hot Girl Radio. If the dick was not reported, do not record it. Ooh. If you only hit it one time, it never happened. If the dick happened during quarantine, it never do happened. Do not show your friend. Yep. Do not show your friend. It's it will not happen again. Deleted. Your wholeness is deleted, deleted. deleted. Because the dick was not completed. Deleted. Ooh. The dick was not completed. Ooh. If the dick was not completed, the then dick you are is not deleted. deleated. That dick was not completed. You, you are, are not deleted. Defeated. You are deleted. Yes. If your coochie was not completed, if the cum was not completed, Ooh. that dick is deleted. Ooh. Do you hear me? It does not count. It's over. That dick does not count. If the thing. Oh, oh hot girl Meg is starting all right. Yes. Okay. If the dick, if the cum was not completed, the dick is deleted. Mm. I wish I would have thought of that back in my prime. Back in my prime, I wish I would have thought of that slogan. Oh man, we giving. But the fact, but the, you know what the gag is? Is though niggas think, well, I came, so it don't even matter. That's it. That's it. like you know what? Man, like I, came, so I ain't gonna lie. Matter. Like I hate the. I hate the. I hate. Damn, I might get thrashed for this. But drag him. I understand. Drag Listen, him. him. I, I, this is the first time I had to use the bathroom. I'm starting. Can I like start, leave and come back? I'm starting to understand. Am I allowed to go to the bathroom and come back? I'm, no. I'm, 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 I'm starting to understand no. why? why the world <laughs> was like it was back in the day. <laughs> like I'm, I'm starting to understand why. Like I beg they, your fucking pardon. I mean, I mean, like it's like. Please say like something make, that make, makes sense. Nah, I mean, I, I might say something mean, that don't make sense. It is what it is. What I'm saying is like, yo, what I will say is like some men be wilding and and, and they do, but it's like more and more I'm starting to see women just get out of the box like it's like yo like come on like re- have some respect first of all one that's so unfair it's not unfair so niggas been wilding no, I'm on s- bitches for the longest they ha- time they have they, so like, they have what but do you want them to but say? no no yeah. fair what i'm saying maybe times has changed the opposite way because what i will say is it's like you see more men being respectful to women these days that's not true that is that's you do true. see more I men listen i, I say you see more men it was disrespectful. But I'm saying you see more. It it's starting to be a standard. Now, like we just had a conversation. Now. We just had a conversation about about cheating on your girl, having a side girl, not being a thing. So you can't tell me wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. So having what? I'm, I'm saying kidding. we just had, like me and my homies just had a conversation about ha- how not to have a how having a side girl is not cool. Okay, so, so what, what I'm about saying when we just watch fences and he didn't stop being his friend with his friend because he was cheating on his wife. What? That no. was 1955. It's the same thing. What? It's niggas who's okay with it then, and it was niggas who was not okay with it then. Right. It's niggas who's okay with it now, and it's niggas who's not okay with it now. Right. Well, in my experience, I'm seeing more men who are treating women better. I, like in today's age, I'm seeing more men I that's just treating. Think, I just think that. When niggas was dogs, they didn't pay no mind to the good niggas. You know what I'm saying? Now they're good niggas, and now they think that there's more good niggas. All no, right. it's just that when y'all was dogs, it was still good niggas. Y'all all right, cool. So, so, all right, all right, so, y'all so, wasn't so conversing all right, bet. So, bet. You just making you making my point even more valid. No, so, I was no. trying to make it fair, but it, okay. So, even if that's the case, so back then it was an equal amount. Now it's an equal amount. So now what I'm gonna say is I'm starting to see more women that's just getting crazy with the mouth. Like back in the day, it really was just like 
Women, like I ain't gonna say like women. I don't want to say stay in their they place, but anything. but low key they, they just you know anything. what I'm saying. They they stayed. It was respectful. They, right. I mean, it is what I mean, it is. But now, vote, but they now have wages. They couldn't. But now, know, but now, but now, but work. Right. They, they could, do a lot of shit. They couldn't. But now you see. Thank the Lord, they have a voice. But now, but it's like, yo, like, it, what are you using your voice for? If they didn't come, if the come wasn't completed. <laughs> The dick is deleted. The fuck? That's what they're using their mouth for, okay? I guess. Because at the same time, niggas is so funny. Now, girl, you know, the problem is so if y'all now, say women, that, now women not scared to hurt men's ego. And that's and fine, but guess what? Then, because women voice was shut down, they didn't care to say how they feel. I think it's perfectly okay for women to say, I'm not having an orgasm. It, it is, but guess what? I'm it's not. not. So, so maybe I say that because to me, like, I never was one of the guys that would be like, yo, I got mine off. So honestly, if, 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 if that's okay, if, what do you mean? Got no, what like what? I nutted, so I don't care about you. So, and if that's you the never case, said that? no, but, you so, would do it though. but no, I didn't like, what, I never, what, are you talking about? what? Clarify, I'm, I'm trying to clarify. Right, I never ahead. was the one that said that. So now I hear girls saying these, that. that's what I'm trying, I'm trying to finish. So I never was the one that said that. So now I'm hearing girls say that like, uh, if it, if it ain't completed, it's deleted. But just so, yo, I'm trying to finish my point. God damn. So. Oh, so I never was the one to say that. So I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the girl say, if it wasn't completed, it's deleted. So now, if I'm hearing that, for me, it's okay for me to be like, well, fuck it. If you ain't come, that ain't my fault. Get your own, get your shit your own self. Now it's like now that 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 creates problems. That that that's, that stems problems in man versus woman relationship because now it's like, yo, we all cared about one another. Now it's like, if it ain't completed, it's deleted. So now I'm gonna say, fuck you. Okay, I fuck it. I got mine off. I now because you are in the relationship too. I think <laughs> just because you said that you weren't the one, it doesn't mean there was a whole bunch of niggas who was doing it. So you're holding it personal to you what you were saying and what you weren't doing. Yeah. It was men that were doing it, whether you were doing it or not. Yeah. So it doesn't matter about you. It matter about all the times that they were may have been played by it or may couldn't have said nothing and niggas was wilding so, on them. Now they care. So fair. it's not just about what you're saying. Saying, who cares? You're yeah. like one in a thousand. Now, fair. It's, it's, it's a whole bunch of. What about the other nine ninety nine that was out here doing it? So 100%. thank you for being a good nigga. So, but now what? But, I'm, but now okay. what, I'm, what I'm kind of saying is, all right, I'm not just one, right? So like, usually it's not just one. You you'll hear if one person thinks something, then normally it's probably a few other people that think yeah, similar. Of so now that I was a good guy, right? Now, now we. You was a good guy. No, yeah, I'm saying like I never, like I never when it you came. You wasn't saying it, but you was doing nah, it. Nah, I never. Nah, that never was you my. You told stop. me you was. No, I never was. That was never my type. Jay, of, so you ain't tell me that you used to date high profile women because it was a thing to say. Shut up. What's that the don't difference? Have enough, did, to me, you, it's what's my thing is. What ain't shit is ain't shit. Like it don't matter. Okay. Ain't shit is ain't shit. But whatever form of ain't shit you were talking fair. about. So because women are stepping out there, whatever way they want to be ain't shit. Niggas was but, ain't shit too. Okay, like okay, it's, a, it's a fair share. I'm talking about a specific topic. My specific topic is orgasm. So I'm okay. saying when women start to say this, right? Even if I wasn't one of those guys, it give those guys who wasn't one of those guys now. That's one person who wasn't like that. That's like that because he heard you say some crazy shit. I was saying, oh, so it's like, fuck it. Okay, so if it's like that, what about the girls who ain't talking like that in it? I mean, At that point, well, she's that, fucking that, up for the girls that no, ain't talking like but that. But it doesn't matter. She's not. Because just like there's good guys and there's bad guys, there's good girls and there's bad girls. So what? It's an even slate. It doesn't matter. Okay. She's not fucking it up for no good girls because at the end of the day, that's all been a cycle. Ain't shit niggas was fucking over good girls that ended up fucking over good guys yeah. and the good guys ended up fucking but over good girls. It was always that cycle. Now, fact, but that now, cycle never now, changed. Now, 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 I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like now, I, niggas have egos and pride. Now niggas I'm a, had niggas, egos and right, pride. Right, but, but now I'm a nigga that's trying to fuck Megan Thee Stallion and don't even want her to come. Fuck you, come. Fuck you, no. Or now, it's niggas now, like, now, I could, or it's niggas like, oh, I'm up for the challenge, baby. Yeah, the yeah, fuck? It is. Or it's niggas, I'm up for the challenge. What Alex said, I love Megan. <laughs> Alex says like, I love Megan. To me, Wyman like, was like, I love to Megan. Me, I hear that shit. I hear that. Okay. To me, to me, I hear that shit like, I'm, I'm that nigga that's, that want to be that nigga. So I hear it and it's like, girl, you ain't fucking, fuck. All right, but I'm gonna that's be that nigga you. that ain't. That's yeah, you. Yeah, now, now, now. Because it's a nigga who's like, what? baby, I could break that down four rounds with Sap. I got I'm pretty you. sure it is. But, all right, but it's not like every, everybody. But I'm every not like nigga, everybody. All right, but it's a lot of niggas that it, it, it don't matter. That's my point. It's some like you. It's gonna be some like that. The point is, it's an even slate. It's gonna you gonna be like kept my mouth closed. You gonna be like. Yeah, I, bitch, fuck out of here. And then there's some niggas like, oh, I got that baby. No worries, I got first that body. All, first of all, like, who, like, I take care of that body. I give you all the orgasms you want. It just, I mean, it just shows how like young she is. Cause like niggas ain't like, I mean, man, it's grown women talking about like that. Don't get niggas it fucked ain't. up. It's grown women talking like that. Hmm? It's just the, oh, it's just the private conversation. Yeah, cause these conversations being being had. Like, old women, old 
women are the worst. Are the yeah, worst. Yeah, no, 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 no. Talk about young. No, no, no. Old women are the yo. But niggas ain't giving. Y'all don't want to hear. Y'all don't want to hear. Y'all don't want to hear a thirty. That's why they're fucking younger niggas. They're thirty-eight fucking twenty-four-year-olds. Yeah, because right because. Niggas ain't, I'm going to give you one good round and we good. All right. Well, I suggest you go get that gas station pill. <laughs> when I get 38. Shout out funny. When I get, when I get, when I get 38. Shout out funny. When, when I get 38, when I get 38, you know. I'm going to give you one good round. We're going to give you like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be good and then it's going to be done. And you going to go to sleep, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh. Winnie the Pooh. Guys are delusional. Whatever. Uh, what else? What's next? <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh, I got some. Okay, boom. I got some today, y'all. I got some today. All right, this or that. Okay. So, the first, not first, not in any order, Mm -hmm. but if you had to pick one, home ownership, what, homeowner or commercial business owner? Oh, shit, homeowner. Do you like more daytime or nighttime? Uh, Daytime. Okay, so would you which one? If it, it's not, you can't go neither. Okay, all right. If it was a situation, an ex who keeps trying to ruin your new relationship, or your mother who keeps trying to ruin your new relationship, my ex. Is it easier? Is it easier for you to make an important decision when you're under pressure or in a calm, peaceful manner? An important decision mm-hmm. when I'm under pressure. Sex under the covers or no covers. Ain't no covers. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. Lights on or lights off? Don't say doesn't matter. Pick one. Cut the lights off. Fuck it. Okay. No. I want the lights on. I want to see. I need to see that face. I want to see them facial expressions when you orgasm. I need to see so I know. So I can see. Turn the lights on. For my one round. Yes. Come on. Shout out. Don't play with me. <laughs> You funny as shit. I so, fuck this shit out with you. Stop buying me. Anyway, what are we talking about? No sex or no phone for a year. You pick, girl. Shut up. I'm asking you. What you think? What? I'm asking you. No phone. Come on. Okay. I can use a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> iPad me. I'm going to use her phone. IPad I'm going to tell her to use the phone. You, you use the phone. You okay. call. Would you rather, Because and this is because I finally watched Fifty Shades of Grey, y'all. Like, finally. I never watched it up until recently. I know. It's And honestly, my reviews aren't probably like everybody else's, but I'll explain that later. So, would you rather someone who's obsessively interested in you, not directly harmful, but obsessed nonetheless, or not showing any interest at all, but they're there? Not showing any interest at all. But they there. Obsess over me, baby, because you show me no interest. I'm out. That's just insecurity. Obsess over me, no interest at all. What's that? No intimacy, no interest. Like that's just insecurity, Jack. Because it's like yo, like if you feel like the need that somebody got to be obsessed with you to show you love. I said no. I said or one or the other. Nobody show love. I'm saying not in general. Like I'm talking about if it's one or those in general, not. Not just in a relationship, some you need somebody obsessed. No, one of those obsessively interested or not interested. That's an insecurity. Yes, I still feel the same way. So can I get my answer or not? Go do your thing. Because <laughs> that don't make sense. All right, so cool. To me, if you feel like you got to have somebody obsessed with you to show you love, then that shows how much love you don't have for yourself. Like, for me, it's like, yo, like, if I know you're there, you don't have, like, if I if, 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 if I know you're there, you're clearly doing things to show me that you're there. So you don't have to be obsessed with me. You could just be there, and I see your presence, I feel it, and I love myself, so I know you're there. I don't, you don't got to obsess no with thanks. me. No thanks, I'll that. pass. But, but to I argue think- that a bit, I feel like, okay, let's say somebody's there, but they're not, I hate to say obsessive, because I get what you're saying about it, but still, okay, right. you're not interested, you're not showing, you're here. You're here, but, but you're, you're not, not putting forth you're, no You're not loving, you're not caring, you're not yeah, kissing like, me you're not there like you why like that's not an insecurity it's just saying like two men and women are put here to do one thing to love on each other and if you don't want to love on me then baby we, we here to, to, then we baby, here, that ain't what we're here for yes we're here to it love ain't. and grow each other no, yes we, we are to procreate. The, 
So as long and as you have to procreate, you have to. You don't have to love. No, 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 no. You right, just be well, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, my don't gotta love each other to procreate. Because, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do nothing. No. You can just lay there and I'll get my thing off. Just yeah. like, you know no, saying? because no interest. I'm not. My pussy doesn't get wet for no interest. Oh, we'll get spit Sorry. started. Then. <laughs> no, no, it's not. And, and I don't want that either. Stink breath. Stink breath. Uh, saliva, no thanks. We it's can't. naturally wet or none at all. But if you're there, then we're gonna do that. No, it's not. If we're there, if you're if you're not there and you're just here then you're not in here okay you're just sitting there and we're not opening for you to be here so that's how that's going and that concludes my this or that so do you have a hypothetical yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look i was going to choose this damn but i feel like we want we want to choose the same person because we all young all right but no 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 i ain't even gonna fuck it up so mm, mm, mm. if one person had to go and all of their work who would it be would wait it, what if one person and all of their work had to go, all of their bodies of work, all of their movies, all of their shows, would it be A, Will Smith, B, Martin, C, uh, Eddie Murphy, or D, oh my Denzel God. Washington? Oh my God. Bye, Martin. <laughs> Bye, Martin. <laughs> Y'all is tripping. I love Martin. I'm not, I'm not giving up Eddie Murphy, Will Smith, or Denzel. So let me... Let me ask y'all this question. I'm let me, sorry. Let me I'm ask not. y'all this question. I'm not. Y'all choosing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air over Martin? But it's not even just Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, though. What movies have Will Smith made that was like... Pursuit and Happiness. Pursuit and Happiness, yeah. Yeah, but good. don't say yeah. But then they're, they're, they're acting like, I mean, that's okay. But what else? Like, we just gave you one. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's so, really right. So, that's the, that's, so right. to me, that's where it goes because a bad Martin, voice? Martin hasn't really made a movie like that for me. Will Smith have, has, but if I get rid of Will Smith, I mean, if I get rid of Martin, I have no more Martin, and Martin was just that. I love powerful. Martin. I love Martin, Martin but crazy. I could deal with Fresh Prince. I can right. go with French Prince. So nobody said who I thought he would say. I'm getting rid of Eddie Murphy. So no, I'm not getting rid of Eddie. He's a he's a. He's <laughs> I just say all that to get rid of somebody else. Yeah, he, he's a he's a <laughs> legend. Was hurt? Did y'all see his face? Just so like, all right, so yeah, not Eddie reason, Murphy. I'm sorry. I'm not saying Eddie Murphy because no. Eddie Murphy is a legend. Don't get me wrong, and I did my Martin. research. However, I wasn't like when he was lit. I wasn't really understanding but he movies. The culture. Yeah, I mean, I get that. it. So but without that, would there even completely be a Martin? Mm, I think so. I mean, I mean, I think so. I don't. I'm getting rid of Eddie Murphy. I'm not getting rid of Eddie Murphy. Who are you getting rid of? I don't know, man. That's really hard it for me because I like everybody. I do um, but, if um, I had to choose, but you know, I don't know. I really we don't know who's not getting. Yeah, we, we know who Denzel, Denzel is staying. Denzel right is safe. <laughs> He's safe. Yeah. All right, Denzel is right, safe. So if you had to Denzel get rid of, stays. if you had to get rid of one, who are you getting rid of? Willow, Denzel. Or man, that's easy. I'm dead. That's, <laughs> I'm dead. that's easy to me. I'm, I'm bored. Doing I'm this to me? Bored in the house. Y'all motherfuckers doing this? <laughs> oh, okay. Hell no. Nah. Training day? Oh, come on. Nah. I'm, I'm not giving up training day. I'm giving Hell up. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Denzel gotta stay. Yeah, I'm I giving will. up. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks sorry. Yeah, no. Damn. No. Oh, damn. That was bad. I ain't like that. I feel guilty for even And, and I just want to say, I, I apologize. Martin from Maryland, you know, he the hometown hero. Like, but you got to go, homie. I, I thought Martin from <laughs> D.C. He ain't from Maryland. Uh, he from Clinton. He said he from I D.C. I mean, a lot of these he niggas out here be claiming D.C. So. This is a conversation for a different podcast. Facts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> different different episode. Said, notate that because I like to talk about it. All right. Come on, man. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, talk about this. What's your hypothetical? Oh, that was it? Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so, no um, wait, it's a lot. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, we got a lot this week, y'all, so y'all can pick. Y'all can pick. Oh, we, we got options. Right, yeah, all right, all right, yeah we was working. Look. All right, so um, stimulus checks. I ain't get mine. So I, got, I got my shit. Shadi ain't get one. She make too much money. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting one. They was like, uh-uh, you can't have it. Yeah, I've been seeing I've been, I've been seeing a lot of polls. It was like, you're getting a stimulus, stimulus check? You make under 70000 Mood, say. Uh, sorry, let me see my own heart. <laughs> let me take it back. <laughs> say, um, no, I would like one. I try to file for one. I don't know. Shade has one. no, like, what? yo, she is just like. My own person. Like, I'm no, just No, like, you don't do that. Like, I'm yeah, like. Playing. That's the joke. Like, <laughs> I what? know. So but when your nigga like, just said, I got body. Like, you don't make this. It's like, no, you it don't was joke. a joke. You clown your own Guess, Why not? People clown their significant other all the time. Cool, let me do that to you. Nah, you you with the ops. You don't. I mean, you mm-mm. do it all the time. But you don't like it. That's my point. All 
All right. So you, you don't, don't like have to it, like you can't it. Do it. No, that's not. We just don't like it. But I understand. I was just playing. I apologize. It wasn't like. No, that. I'm. I'm good. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even just towards you. I mean, I'm, I'm good. A lot of people got to listen. I want one. I'm, I'm good. I want one. If I do I that, one. I'm just saying. If I do I'm that, they be like me. You did it. Oh, you were the. You know, I was. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe dragging it on because not all. It's plenty of times I take things you say. And we could go there if you would like to. Word. So how y'all feel about okay. the stimulus check shit? Man? I want one. I want one. And if anybody is bl- mad at the government and they don't want theirs, give it to me. Facts, yo. So what's all this talk about niggas getting? So we'll be getting two thousand dollars a month. They're lying. And I still ain't even sent <laughs> them extra six hundred dollars on top of my unemployment. So fuck them. They're lying. Oh shit. Yo. They're lying. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the extra six hundred dollars. Okay. It's not there. They took it, it will be retroactive where? Cause then they're gonna end up having to cut people two thousand, three thousand to go back pay what they did and they're not doing it because they're running out of money. They don't got enough money. Y'all think they don't got enough money. No, Y'all... they do, but they ain't about to give. No, that's the problem. They not about to get. No, no, no. They got the money. They ain't about to they give just ain't us giving the it, money. They okay, it let's keep it clear. They're not gonna give it all to us. Mm. So when they cap on, they've been giving out too much. I know we did what we can. Yeah, I don't think we're seeing it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm on. I'm on some. I believe it when I see it type of thing. Like facts. Um, you know what about? What you spending? What, what you think people should be spending? They doing with they stimulus check right now? Some bullshit. Just both party bills. and bullshit. No, I pay bills. Pay your bills. Because what I bills. think you should spend it on, I ain't even spending mine on a camera. Investments. I mean, it is what it is. I think I'm pro investing in yourself, especially all these entrepreneurs and all that shit, man. Fuck it. If you ain't had to build money then, yeah, you yeah, ain't got it now. So it. invest in some Free shit. Money. You know what I'm okay. saying? Invest in some shit that's going to get you more money. That's just how I think. But yeah. but I'm not living on by myself. Yeah. So yeah. I got to do the. Yeah. Responsible thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Use it on bills. Yeah. Um, I seen a, a couple of people saying what way you could do it. Some people saying like you can Shit, have get, a, the, get into so, the heck now, I'm talking, remember? Like Ooh. how you just did me. Um Boy. so what I think you know, what I think people can do is also a calm balance. But like you, you can, can put the, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Episode zero two two. <laughs> We're done. Ah! It's over. No, I didn't Jay's that. getting on my nerves and it's gonna carry over after this podcast. So I'm just letting y'all know. So, all right, boom. You know, some things I seen, like you can have a fair balance though. You can take half and put up towards your bills. You can take 200 and put towards uh, savings and then you could take whatever else to invest. Like there's tons of things you can invest that you might need. It doesn't have to be the whole entire thing. But even if you take $200 and put towards something towards your business or a LLC or something of the sort, you can do that. You can still pay bills. You can still, you can literally balance all three, put some of your savings, pay a bill, that's important, and then take something and invest in yourself. That's the same way you could do with your checks. As long as you pay some of your bills, pay yourself, and put something to your investment. I like that. I like yeah. that. Hey, um, we was talking about... Uh, How long are you trying to go today? Um, are you okay? Oh my. I was looking at this. Akon thing real quick because I, I I didn't know he said that. Akon shared his perspective on Takashi Six Nine. He should have never been in a position to snitch because his homie should have taken the charge. Everybody took the charge. <laughs> it's, like, it's like nah, but nah. Oh, um, set went down. I, um, I, it's a Rico. That, sheesh. So I so in the hood, I understand what Akon talking about, but a Rico is life. But um, she's that's tough because. What you want to do if it was you? Um, if it was you, what would you do? I probably take my own charge, but again, that's me. No snitching. But if I'm, also, if I'm six nine, he did add, and he said that snitching isn't the same as it was back then. Like it's different. It's Who different. changed it? Was I don't know. Who that's what he the said. It kind on some. His I don't, own know who don't talk, bullshit. don't, don't talk. Though everybody's gonna respect Akon, Akon is on now. Having his own country We're gonna bullshit. talk about that king. We're not a, gonna talk negative about that king because he does exactly no, what not. he's supposed Akon to is, do. Akon, he's Akon, definitely Akon, that nigga. No, we're not gonna Tristan, do that. He's a global treasure. Okay. I'm gonna talk. All right, a global about treasure. Akon. A how the fuck I want to talk about Akon because first and foremost, everybody don't he got his own country or some shit like that. He got his own money. Like what the? Like he got like don't he? Some shit like that. And guess what? And guess what? Guess what? If he had all that. If he had all that and he got caught on some shit, you think he not about to look? I got things to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got things that's to do. That's why I'm so not. Y'all gotta go. But and I'm gonna. That's do why what I'm I need not. To do. That's why I'm not agreeing with his ass because I ain't Acon. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I was Acon, I. Right. But if you if you were six nine because six nine also had very much a lot to lose. You know what I'm saying? Facts. 
if so you were six back, nine, so six nine is not Akon, but they're in a caliber of things that yo elite. There we go. Very elite so, crowd. Going back to what I was trying to say, the point, right? I think in in the hood, right? Like how how we how we expected it or how hood niggas, but that's why I don't think hood niggas in like the streets and Hot success what I snack on. The streets hood nigga. Can't wait to hear that in a club. Sorry. The streets and success can't co coincide because I just feel like it's just it's yeah, different. Yeah. So, but in the streets mentality, yeah, I understand should. it should be somebody to take the rep. Yeah. Some like one like yeah, like that's yeah, how so it. You, that's, think that you, said, you think they should have a? It should be a preconceived already caution. Like, look, if anything go down, you so say, that's how. So how the fuck do they pick who takes but, it? But that's because, how it's supposed to be. Like, not supposed to be, but that's how they talk about it before. Like, you will have one person that's putting up the money and. The nigga that's and the casualties of yeah. all, all yeah. liabilities but the, if anything happened. Yeah, but the nigga that's in front of the camera or that breadwinner ain't taking no hit, they ain't getting in no trouble, they ain't doing nothing. That's who's bringing the money. Yeah, so and in, in one aspect, I understand what Akon is saying because what he shouldn't even been in a position to make these calls. It shouldn't have been him. If yeah. he thinks somebody need to get hit, he shouldn't make that call. It should be yeah. somebody else. So yeah. he don't put himself in no fire because yeah. this is our breadwinner. Because yeah. if we fuck up, if we fuck up six nine, we, we fuck up a up. whole community. Yeah. But if yeah. we fuck up. A random nigga that don't have no yeah. life. I mean, you was already on that verge anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think I understand what he's trying to say, but in this day and age, yeah, yeah, go back well, to having your own island, yeah, your own money. But yeah, yeah uh, well, that was it. Shout out to Akon. Um, oh yeah, did y'all know? Um, in Maryland, you gotta have a mask. I thought we already said this last week, but in Maryland, you gotta have a mask anywhere you go. Like literally. Shoot. Chipotle, it don't matter where you go. Yeah. You need your mask. And yeah, honestly, quite frankly, please, because I don't want to see you in Chipotle and I'm in Chipotle and you don't have a mask because you have cooties. Down the city plus Hennessy and care packages as throw sanitizer. Ooh. First of all, Hogan, where you at? Let me get some Hennessy. First of all, first of all, I don't like throat sanitizer. I, that don't even sound right. Yes, look, because you was, bro, I was about to say it, but you know, pause. Go ahead. Do your thing. Sanitize your throat. Gemini Scorpio podcast is brought to you, but <laughs> thank you, Luke Belair. Shout out to Belair. Shout out to Catch Twenty Two. Shout out! This is the second episode she done had her mouth wide open. Uh, Catch Twenty Two. Um, Catch Twenty Two on the vibes. Squad is in here. Squat, 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 squad. Episode Twenty Two, man. Episode Twenty Two. Make sure you, you subscribe. Know I wish at Twenty Five we could have a live podcast, but you know. Ain't no telling where we'll be. Yo, here. we can have a lot of podcasts though. Yo, we can have it in a parking lot. Yo, remember and the remember cars? the pull up movie shit? Yeah, oh, that would be. You know, we could rent those big uh, projectors. All right, we gotta go. We got stuff to talk about. All right, episode zero two two. Healer Bay. I'm about to yeah. Mr. J Hill. J Hill. Episode twenty two. We out. It's a wrap. We out.